Now it's the perception that Africa is risky. So why Africa? Well, it's because of this perception of riskiness that Africa presents a significant opportunity in our mind. Um, now we're seeing a number of projects that have been developed and constructed over a number of times are now reaching a stage of maturity, which we can go in and validate the various assumptions. Now, because of this risk perception of these projects, these projects have to be built in a very robust manner in terms of the contractual framework within which they operate. These projects have to have long-term, fixed-price, dollar-denominated uh, um, pricing metrics, which means that you don't have to compete according to supply and demand. And these projects have other measures such as World Bank guarantees, which means that you are actually protected in the case of default. This has all resulted in projects in Africa have a low, having a lower default rate than the likes of Asia, Latin America, and even North America. So it's exactly because of this risk-reality mismatch or imperfect understanding of, of this Africa infrastructure market that this significant opportunity currently exists.